Folks, I'm going down to Susanville, California uh, to work on a 7215R John Deere. Uh, they called me day before yesterday and said that they were they're running tub grinders with it to feed cows. They've got like 3,000 head of jerseys, uh, some calves there they've brought brought in here and dumped off and they're feeding them all but anyways they're using tub grinders and he was it's pretty big deal to keep these tractors going with that amount of cows out there and they've got a 7200r and a 7215r and the 7200r's got some kind of regen bullshit going on with it but um anyways he had explained to me what was going on with this tractor and and i as you'll see here later i'm my my uh, prognosis of what was he was explaining to me was correct because he said smells like rubber and he said he thought he didn't know any better he he, he thought there was a clutch in the tractor you know because it's got a clutch pedal but I said no there's no clutch and he said yeah but it smells like he said I can see bits of black rubber on the ground underneath it and I said yeah your torsional dampener uh, went out so uh, John Deere had a, a dampener in stock so anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm heading down to Susanville and didn't really get a chance to show this one completed as running, but it's running. It's good to go. They're using it. Um, it was getting dark. It, I knew it was going to be a full day to do this job by the time I drove down there and then got the uh, thing torn apart and reassembled. It was going to be tight by the time I got done. So anyways, here you go. Well guys, we're at a 7215R and I gotta get the driveline coupler out. All the intake, all the exhaust, all kinds of shit has to come off here to get it out of there. But let's uh, get after it. All right, let's get the grounds off the batteries here. seeing that it should have, instead of pulling them post off, instead of pulling them post off, just pull that one bolt out right there. This intake assembly is all coming off of here. All of this is coming off. I'm going to take these three bolts loose here. Those are torques. Okay. This piece here has to come off. Okay guys, so I got the intake plenum and intake hose off. Here's the coupler, but this whole piece has to come off. So, uh, the exhaust has to come off now.
Rosie, your buddy left, huh? Your buddy left you. Poor Collie took off. Step holding it on there. Oh, there's your, there's your buddy. Got a magnetic perch tray over here. out there in the sunlight. <laughs> clamp here let's see the whole thing's got to come off of there this bracket here needs to come off right here okay we got to get this clamp here a little bit. Take this bolt loose too, the way that's made. Okay. I'm gonna. I am a man in search of an 18 millimeter. There we go. Yeah, it's it's a cold one. Somebody's put a new turbo, imagine that. John Deere with a fucked up turbo. Tell me you didn't sell. Tell me it isn't so.
Uh. Forgot about that hose right there. Somebody's already got the clamp loose. Yep, I forgot about that hose. Somebody's had this off before. Got the BPF supported with the crane. Now we can get the fucking thing out of there. All right, gotta get these bolts loose here. Thought I got that loose already.
broke loose without the cheater. Well, I'm gonna go to the other side. I don't know. Damn it. I'm going to go to the other side. Get the inertia ring loose. Get it out of there. Okay, that's loose. That's drive line spinning freely from that. Get my bar out now. slide back in there. It's not really wanting to do it. I don't have to pull the damn new joint out of it. I don't know. Let me get a bar, a bigger bar. Okay, man. These are these things can be a wrestling match getting them out of there. I'm telling you. The inertia ring and that have to come out. I've tried getting them out before with the inertia ring. I've tried tying the inertia ring up. It just won't. I've never been able to get it out without pulling both. Okay, so that's your drive coupler. As you can see, it spun inside of it. Now I put a big socket underneath the DPF support so I could grab this damn unit or nursery with my crane Ugh, trying to get it supported and then line the the coupler and the bolt holes and all that up what a pain in the ass I'm just gonna run these in a ways make sure they're started Started. 
back in it I took that u-joint out of it and put it on the bumper and took the caps off and packed the needles with grease because there's no greaser just for a precaution while I'm here type deal you know Get underneath Okay, so I got all that back together. I tightened the shit out of everything there. Now we gotta put this wonderful hood support back in there. Good times, but I gotta be an idea. I'll do that. Take this line bundle and I bar it over and pry it against here. How did I do that? I had it right over here somehow. I don't remember how I did it now. Yeah. I don't remember how the hell I did it. DPF anyway.
I gotta put this bolt in right here. <sighs> gotta find that bolt. Missing a bolt here. I remember it fell down in this area around in here somewhere, but I think it went over here. There it is, I found it. I knew it was out there somewhere. Gotta be those bolts. Well, let's uh.
That's where the long ones go. Long way back One piece of shit.
Freeman Bell Wagon. Look at that 80. 8300 sitting there. All right, well, anyways, guys, I had a guy show up there and started talking to me, and I didn't video the tractor running, but that was a 7215R John Deere, and those those have a, a rubber torsional damper on them. And I was trying to explain to the, the, the local mechanic that's here in Susanville, uh, all he, he worked for on the construction side for years, so he wasn't real familiar with them. So I explained it to him, you know, what the, that, you know, that there's no clutch on those tractors. It's just a, a dampener, and that keeps, basically, you don't really have a clutch on those. Uh, Basically, all you're doing is uh, you're dumping the oil off the input side of the transmission when you push that pedal down. And you really don't even have to use that pedal. So, man, it's getting dark already. It's only about 4 o'clock over here. But, anyways, guys, I got a couple hours to get back home and then uh, go tackle my problems tomorrow. But, anyways, thanks for watching.